When you see this exercise, you might think it is unachievable for the average person, but that is because nobody knows how to train for this correctly. Until now. I'll show you how to start, proper progressions, and the main benefits for getting your first reverse Nordic. Join me on the ground here. You want to start on your knees and lay the front of your feet flat on the mat. As a body cue, you want your shoulders in line with your knees. Maintain that straight posture as you lean back. You want to use your hip flexors and your quadriceps as the main force to drive your body back to neutral. Doing this exercise stretches the rectus femoris. A tight rectus femoris can pull on the patella tendon, which is a common occurrence in knee pain, especially if you do too much sitting in the office. Leaving this tendon unchecked can lead to difficulty going up the stairs or difficulty squatting when reaching for something on the ground. So we know the foundation and the basics of this movement. Now we can properly progress by using a resistance band to help us through the latter half of the movement. And as we get stronger, we're going to lower the resistance band as needed. If you take it slow and have patience with your body, it will reward you with bulletproof knees, stronger shaped quads, and dynamic hip flexors. Remember, our tendons love load. So doing nothing is easily one of the worst things we can do for knee tendon pain. Try this out and let me know how it affects and helps you. Strict form only.